Hey folks, Dan Takashi here. So today I thought was a big day in human history. Oh God, that's such a big statement. What are you talking about, Dan? I think it's a big day. Why? Because today we had live news about Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic flight had reached space for the first time. The company spacecraft VSS Unity launched above the skies of New Mexico on Sunday with two pilots guiding the vehicle carrying the billionaire founder and three Virgin Galactic employees. Branson, one of the first billionaire space company founders to ride his own space aircraft. Guys, this is so exciting. I rarely get goosebumps. I'm not a very emotional person. I've been trading for way too long. My brain is so wired to be so logical, but I saw this. I got goosebumps, guys. The whole day today, I've just been so excited about this. This is incredible. Let's look at this also from an investing standpoint. I'm getting a lot of questions because I did a, uh, a news show today on my Japanese show, and I'm getting a lot of questions. Dan, should, you be, should we be investing in the Virgin Galactic stock? Let's talk about what happened today. Let's talk about whether you should be investing in this or not, and let's give you my conclusion. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Would appreciate if you guys press the subscription button, the like button, as well as the notification button below to get notified about any new developments and any new videos, etc., whatnot. Today is currently Tokyo Japan time, 3:25 p.m. It is July the 12th, Tokyo Japan time, meaning that it is still 2:25 a.m. Uh, right now, New York Eastern time zone. Okay, so guys, let's go through this news. It is so exciting, so so exciting. This is awesome, guys. Uh, what I I love about this is that I was just going through all the news and it looks like Elon Musk was just sitting there waiting in uh, Branson's kitchen and being like, I'm going to wish you well off. Uh, <laughs> he's just sitting there chilling and waiting for him at like 3 a.m. Uh, before they launch today at 7.30 a.m. So it was really, really cool. I mean, these guys are just buddies, but uh, it seems, you know, Richard Branson was saying it was great to so find Elon in my kitchen at three o'clock in the morning. Uh, you know, Branson was saying in a press conference, just willing and wishing him all off. Uh, there, you know, obviously there's a lot of companies that are trying to go into space right now. Uh, Tesla's, uh, no, sorry, Elon Musk's um, uh, SpaceX, uh, Am uh, you know, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, a Blue Origin, uh, tons of companies, Virgin Galactic as well. But the fact that, you know, they're all wishing each other good luck just because this is just a, such a great feat for human civilization it doesn't matter who you are from which country whatever we all have we are all habit you know uh, inhabitants of earth and we all look at space right we all have to look at the sky all the time and this is a new territory for all of us to explore so let's go through exactly what happened today guys so First of all, guys, uh, you know, this just happened and obviously it's big pieces of news, but I think the bigger pieces of news is, you know, let's go through the videos. Let's go through some of the stock history as well. And let's talk about whether this is worth investing in. So let's first start with the pleasantries. Let's go through this video because this is just so cool, guys. I mean, I've watched this like probably, I don't know, seven times already today. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Look at this. Clean so they're release. using an aeroplane. Ignition. Not a rocket. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Mach 1 in 10 seconds. Incredible, right? Look at this baby go. That's not me, guys. It's just Trim this video. Complete. Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. Look at that. Mach 2 at 31 seconds crazy 30 seconds Mach 2 everything's looking really good and stable it's incredible 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 40 seconds 45 seconds it's amazing watch this just in a span of one minute they get into Mach space three. which I can't believe like it's There's just Mach three now Mach 3. Less than one minute. Mach 3, and guys. 60 seconds. And that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is 279,000 feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather. And um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. Look at this. Just in a span of just a minute so and 30 seconds, they're in now, space. And the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. So cool. 
50,000 feet now and climbing as soon as we cross the boundary to space, we'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Yeah, I mean, so I, I mean, obviously, I saw the interview today with Richard Branson. He was super excited. Uh, God, I mean, I'd be so damn excited too. It, this is an incredible feat, guys. Um, and just not just that, but you know, what to me is more exciting is the potential for this. So, guys, I know it's in Japanese, but just this, this is just because. Look, I'll translate this in English, but it's pretty simple. This allows us also to travel just to from country to country for those of us who like to travel. Guys, we've all been sitting indoors with coronavirus going crazy. I have traveled to over 60 countries. I love traveling. My family loves traveling. All my friends love traveling. I'm going crazy right now because I can barely get on an airplane. But I've been on an airplane throughout my life for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours. Way too much. <laughs> and just looking at this just blows my mind here. Using this new technology, you can go to Tokyo to Singapore, 28 minutes. Okay, that might not seem that impressive. London to New York, 29 minutes. Look at this. Within a 30 minutes, you can go to New York to Paris, guys. New York to Paris in 30 minutes. Holy crap. Sydney to Singapore. That's a pretty far ways. I, I've done this before. It's usually eight hours, only 31 minutes. This gets even crazier here. LA to London. That's usually 10 hours, guys. 10 and a half hours. That's 32 minutes. Then London to Hong Kong. You can do this also in 34 minutes as well. That's usually about a 12-hour flight. It takes half a day. London to Hong Kong. It's 34 minutes. Holy crap. Right? So, okay. There's a lot of uh, discussion about whether this is really space or not. I was looking at uh, Blue Origins uh, Twitter, and basically they were talking about how, look, I mean, New Shepard is the one that they're designing right now. I think they're trying to launch right now around the end of July as well. But they're talking about this Carmon line, a Carmon line. I don't know how to say this, but this is what usually they think that they designate is what's in space. Uh, this goes, up, you know, basically uh, 100 kilometers above uh, Earth. And this is what Blue Origin is aiming for, and Virgin Galactic does not do this. So I think this was also interesting to note this, that you know Virgin Galactic does go up pretty high up, but it does not pass this line here. Uh, so I think that's really key to note here. It goes, it very, gets very close to here. Also, Blue Origin is using a rocket type, uh, whereas Virgin Galactic is using high altitude airplanes. Vir uh, Blue Origin also use, has the largest windows in space, 42 by 28. That's pretty big, guys. That makes that makes a big difference. I, you know. Just just guys, for, for those of you who else want to go into space, yeah, the size of the windows, that is like the crux of what we're going for. We can't see out the window. That that space travel is not cool, right? That we're going up there because we want to look out the window. Unfortunately, Virgin Galactic airplane size windows, because they're using an airplane. It's a high altitude airplane, it's not a rocket. Uh, escape system, no, which is a little bit weird, but I guess it's an airplane. How are you gonna escape on a airplane? Uh, ozone layer impact is minimal, uh, and then there is a bit of an ozone layer impact. Again, it's all because it's an airplane versus a rocket and flight history uh it looks like it's about three people can go flights above 80 kilometers and uh for this uh or blue origin it can fit about 15 so it's it's definitely it seems that look blue origin is going to be a bit of a higher quality uh i would say it goes more into space you get the bigger windows uh but guys that shouldn't cast doubt on the fact that this is such a still great feat guys and we got to get into this because i think that a lot of people are going to be looking at the stocks here on monday as we're about to open and thinking okay should i be buying these things or should i not be buying these things uh it's 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 going to be a very very big i think contended contention right now just given what's going on and what's uh just 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 with this awesome news coming out so let's go through the technicals let's put aside some of my emotions let's go through some of the fundamentals should we be buying this should he be not buying this stock virgin galactic let's go through this guys as usual i'm going to go through some technical stuff i'm going to go through some uh investing trader lingo, etc. If you're new to investing or you just want to review some of the stuff, some of the previous videos are in the description area below, how to use charts, what brokerage accounts I use, etc. So feel free to check that out if you guys are interested. So guys, SPCE, this is the stock symbol for Virgin Galactic, right? So actually, guys, this actually only IPO'd uh, from what I can see here quite recently. It hasn't really IPO'd. Uh, it hasn't really been around for that long. Uh, it's still a fairly new company. Uh, it IPO'd right here around towards the end of 2017, October. And it started with a low price around $10 and it's just gone up and up and up, of course, uh, as they've been making a lot of progress uh, right now. Uh, what's incredible is this company makes absolutely no money. But of course, we all know yes right now it's mostly just cost they're trying to get into space this is a great feat right now i think most people who invest in this are not doing this because they 
they want returns on dividends, etc. So looking at this chart, purely looking at the technical chart wise, <coughs> It needs to break above this big level, I think, here. Uh, I think 60 bucks is a huge level of hit in February of 2021. So this year, if it can break above that, it could probably continue to go higher from there. Yes, it's going to release earnings on August 10th. Probably they spent a lot of money to get this flight into space right now. So that earnings is probably not going to be so hot at the moment. Uh, regardless of that right now, the MACD is really hard to tell. I can't really get a direction just looking at this. Interestingly, we're seeing a lot of volume right now buying ahead of today's event. I'm sure a lot of investors were already excited about this, uh, you know, this Unity launch. Uh, so I think that's why the buying was there. And our side right now, overall, short term, it's above 50. So it is going in an upward direction. So overall, guys technically yes the stock short term it looks kind of sexy because there's a lot of buying pressure there's a lot of excitement in there uh but also guys let's go through some of the fundamentals here i mean we do have to take note guys that guys this this stock i mean it's a company that's not making money we, we just have to be very upfront about this price to book ratio is 27.8 times that's gigantic and yeah guys this is burning cash right revenue is negative net income is negative last quarter they had a negative net income of 100 and about 30 million bucks here so every quarter they're burning uh between 70 to 130 million bucks it's almost about 100 million bucks per quarter right now they are burning here and yet they're doing this because it takes a lot of money to get into space so like i keep saying people are not really focused on the i think price to earnings or the dividends for this but what i think more important is we got to compare this with the other options right now. And I actually had a really interesting article from Investors Business Daily. I was looking at this. It just was published about a couple weeks ago. Is Virgin Galactic stock a buy or are there other possibilities? And guys, to be honest, there are other possibilities here. Uh, so look, investors in Virgin Galactic stock, uh, you know, they're already invested in the stock, but it looks like Richard Branson is going to do another SPAC right here, a special purpose acquisition company to take it public. Again, guys, SPACs are just kind of a form of raising money. And it's a former raging company with an empty company, basically an empty company, raise money, and then we'll put the business idea in there later. So obviously, this is going to be focused again on just raising more money to get uh, this dream into or, you know, dream into motion of getting the, 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 the spacecraft into motion and to start to get customers on board. They're just going to need more and more investment into this. But I guess what I want to highlight is this part, guys. There are other stocks like this. Um, you know, basically this, this article is a little bit negative on this, just basically talking about how, uh, there's just a lot of enthusiasm over this year, but I think what's more important is the actual competitiveness of the space guys. There's a lot of different companies going for this right now. It's not just Virgin Galactic here, but, uh, there's some other SPAC companies going into this. So, uh, there's rocket labs, Spire global. Both of this are going in, going into this, uh, Astra space. It's already gone public here. Uh, Astra space stock, which I thought was really interesting. It went public, uh, about, okay. October of last year, and it's kind of gone sideways. It went up really close to around 20 bucks, and now it's around 15.4 bucks US. So, what I kind of want to highlight is this I think that overall, I'm very excited about this event. However, looking at this from a very logical, pure money standpoint, pure investment standpoint, that's what we have to do, guys. This is our money at stake, and money is not logical. Uh, sorry, money is not emotional. At the end of the day, your investments are numbers. We have to focus on the facts here. So I got to put my emotion aside. I want to ride this Virgin Galactic so badly. But at the same time, looking at investment wise right now, I just think that there's a lot of competition in this space. And I also do think that we need to find out what's going to happen with Blue Origin's New Shepard launch. We need to see this because it looks like this is a higher quality service. And if this comes out and it's higher quality, better PR marketing, Jeff Bezos, one of the richest people in the world, he can fund probably whatever he wants. This may make Virgin Galactic not comparatively not as sexy of a stock, not as sexy of an investment. Obviously, guys, Blue Origin is still a private company. I get it. So you can't invest in this. So you might say, OK, we have no choice but to invest in Virgin Galactic. But Blue Origin may become a public company. There might be a SPAC. Who knows? What I just want to say is Virgin Galactic, we don't know yet whether this is the best technology out there. Give it a little bit more time before investing would be my prime advice for you guys, especially since this is a long term investment. It's not short term. It's just going to take a little bit more time before we start getting thousands and thousands of people up into space. So let's wait. Let's wait a little bit. Let's wait for Blue Origin. Let's wait to see their results. 
And then let's wait to see what happens with these other SPAC companies, how much money they raise and what they can do. Of course, obviously, Elon Musk's SpaceX too. want to see what they're capable of doing as well. And let's see from there. I think we still need a few more months time before we uh, get an idea of whether we should be buying uh, SPCE, the Virgin Galactic stock for a long term investment. So, guys, that's my conclusion for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed today's content. If you did, please press the like button as well as the subscription button and the notification button. I love you guys all. I will give you guys more updates upcoming this week. Thanks so much, guys.